That was very, very cool. I mean, I think a lot of bands would have probably put in a guitar solo right there. But not the Interrupters. They put in a horn solo. What's up, punk -ots? It's been a while. Lately, I've been posting to my second channel, Rob's MV, which is a lot of musical reactions as well as some deep dives through rock history. However, even though this video is in the style of those videos, it does have to do with one of the bands that I like to talk about on this channel. Who am I talking about? Of course, I'm talking about The Interrupters. I've got two videos on this channel already about The Interrupters, so as I've said, they are on the Punk Ots timeline. Beyond that, we have a song here that features Tim Armstrong from Rancid. And you know me, I love my Rancid. No, I'm not wearing this shirt because that's what I'm talking about in the video. I'm wearing this shirt because about 26% of my t-shirts are Rancid t-shirts. Now this is the fourth single released from the upcoming In the Wild LP by The Interrupters. And I'll be honest with you, the first song In the Mirror that I have a video up for, I thought was a very good song. The last two they released are good songs, but not at the level, in my opinion, of In the Mirror. This one has me curious though, because the Rancid Interrupters collaborations that happen usually once per album have always been pretty good. Very uplifting in nature. And now we have some ska flavor directly on this one with the likes of Rhoda Dakar on it. We're just a few weeks away from the entire album being released, but let's check out the fourth single. Okay, first off, I just want to say I love the harmonizing of all the vocalists here. Whenever the vocals first came in, I was wondering if Amy's voice had kind of changed, but then I snapped that it was all three of them harmonizing, and probably the twins and other people as well. And so far, it's a little different thematically than the other couple of songs. The other few songs were pretty dark. And I know they've said this album is going to be very personal. Amy wrote it during the pandemic pretty much in isolation. Obviously, her husband probably pretty close by her side. But this album was written at a time when we were all pretty locked down. And Amy was being very reflective on her childhood and on her past. This one seems a little more uplifting so far. This is the time to love. So the interrupters often get that tag of sounding a lot like Rancid. This one sounds more like Tim Armstrong's solo album, like the one he came out with in 07. This has that kind of vibe to it. Sounds like Tim's voice has a little echo or a little delay on it. Doesn't quite sound like Tim, but I'm not sure if Tim's voice can quite sound like it did even on the 07 album. I like that they basically put in a horn solo there. That was very, very cool. I mean, I think a lot of bands would have probably put in a guitar solo right there. But not the Interrupters, they put in a horn solo.
okay, Rhoda's part was pretty good. I think actually her voice fits the music here even a little bit better than both Tim and Amy's. Good get by them. Another thing to think about is she won't necessarily be on the road with them. So Amy's going to have to sing those parts. It'll be interesting to hear how Amy's voice can actually hit those notes and put in that inflection. We've seen it in the past where the brothers sometimes take on the rancid parts, so to speak, from their past songs, and they do it very well. But also Amy sings those parts very well. Amy sings Operation Ivy very, very well. As we live, this is the time. Now that part at the very end where Amy just screams, we're running out of time, you could definitely envision that is going to be something live because Amy really has that way of being not guttural, like in a metal way, but I put it on my other video, like when she screams, welcome to the family, she can really mm, bring it. And I think she's going to be able to bring it on there. That was the second best single so far they've released. As I've said, In the Mirror, I think, is on another level from the other songs that they've released. This is still very good. And it gets me intrigued for this album. That's only a couple of weeks away. This album definitely has a flavor to it. And I can't quite put my finger on it. Every song we've heard, you could just tell it comes from this album. And it certainly seems like the Interrupters have done that here without moving away from their core sound, which is a good thing to hear. Guys, it's only a couple weeks, and then I may have a reaction video to literally every song on the album. Stay tuned and subscribe to find out. Talk to you next time.